Hello everyone. Uh, yes, as you can see, I look a little bit different today. Uh, welcome to uh, today's live stream. <laughs> uh, my name is Robin Shaw, and if this is your first time here, welcome. And uh, tonight we're doing uh, pronunciation. Yeah, I, I look a little different today. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do pronunciation tonight and then tomorrow grammar. I still haven't decided which grammar we're doing tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably check. I'll probably decide tomorrow morning and then start preparing my uh, live stream for tomorrow. Anyway, tonight's topic, well, I'm going to do the introduction now. This is introduction. The topic is pronunciation and we're going to talk about word linking actually that is uh, today's topic i know none of you know about today's topic until now word linking i think today's lesson is very important a very important lesson and then of course after the lesson i'll start answering any questions uh before i get started here i'm just gonna check the chat room to see who came and Yellow and Layla, you guys are always first. Welcome, nice to see you. Uh, Grace is missing me. I miss you too, Grace. I, I didn't get 2,000 subs yet. Uh, I don't know how many uh, subscribers I have now, but not 2,000 yet. I'm happy to be here, Layla. Aman Khan, hello. Appendix. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, UK Androids here. Tika. And then Yazin Oz Ozkan. Hello. He says, greetings from Turkey. I visited Turkey three years ago. So it's good to see someone from Turkey here. And yeah, I already shaved my beard about uh, 20 minutes ago. I shaved my beard, so my face is uh, still a little bit, uh, a little bit hurts. Sushant, oh yeah, hello, I'm a new teacher. Gary, I already miss your beard. Ah. Halifa, ah, hello. Why did you shave? Uh, it was it was time to shave. It was time to shave. I think too many people are coming to this channel and they see this old guy with a beard. Uh, they don't want to stay. Uh, where is your beard? My beard is in the sink. <laughs> you young again. Thank you. I was always young. Doesn't matter what I look like. I'm always young. Grace, I miss your beard. Everyone misses my beard. Well, it's not coming back. Gerson, hello. Mon Mon. No, I didn't make any new WhatsApp. You can join my WhatsApp below, but I haven't been in WhatsApp very much in the last couple days. Thank you, Layla. And Ilufi Afkir. I live in England. I want to learn English. You live in England. You have lots of opportunity to learn English. Well, I'm sure I can. I will just call you Afker. Afker, you live in England. You have lots of opportunity to study English. So, yeah, I, I cut my beard. This is the new Robin. I'll, I'll get a haircut. My hair is still a little bit long. I'll get a haircut maybe uh, Monday. So, tomorrow look the same but Monday get a haircut so I look younger uh, Esther is uh, my Tuesday teacher she's too popular so I have to uh, I have to improve my appearance to compete with Esther all right uh, let's get started on tonight's topic pronunciation so as I said we'll do the topic word linking after that we'll do English Q&A 
let's get into the topic. So as you can see, I'm not at 2,000 subscribers. The current subscribers is 1,732. So anybody, uh, anyone here who is not subscribed, subscribe now so I can see 1,733. Uh, it's dangerous to say that because sometimes people unsubscribe and the number goes down. I lost weight. No. Oh, there we go. We went up to 1,733. Thank you, new subscriber. Also, please, please, please support the channel. Uh, we are struggling, Esther and I, to make these videos and we're trying to improve the videos. I, I shaved for you guys. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. So word linking. Does anyone know what word linking is? Let's get into the topic. What is word linking? What do you think it means? Did everyone leave? Silicone. Hello again. Connection of words. That's it. But tab. I went to park. All right. So you guys, you guys have a, a kind of lent, a, a kind of understanding. All right. So first, before we get into word linking, we should know what uh, consonants and vowels are. So, of course, in English, uh, we have consonants and vowels A to Z. You can see all the consonants are blue and all the vowels are orange. And that's how it's going to be tonight. So make sure you, whenever I say the word consonant, you know what I'm talking about. And when I say vowel, you know what I'm talking about. So linking patterns in sentences, we have consonant plus vowel, consonant plus consonant, and vowel plus vowel. We're going to talk, uh, we're just going to talk briefly about those tonight. Um, not in too much detail because this is not really my expertise. Uh, my listening of English is not perfect sometimes, so it's hard for me to uh, catch when there's a lot of linking. Also, uh, depending on your region in the world, like, uh, you know, there's different English speakers around the world, and I'm sure the linking and blending is very different depending on the region. So uh, what I teach tonight might not be true in some regions in the world. All right. So remember, consonant, vowels. All right, so we're just going to jump into an example here and which which words are linked. So I'm going to say the sentence. My dog is a poodle. So I said it fast like a native speaker would because I am a native speaker. My dog is a poodle. My dog is a poodle. Which words are linked? My dog is a poodle. So Grace, G and I, S and A, yeah, G and I. So you guys, this is the easy one. So again, the, the blue is the consonant, the orange is the vowel. So the G and the I and the S and the A, there's going to be strong linking there. My dog is a poodle. So a native speaker is never going to, I shouldn't say never, but a native speakers, go, you know, in any language, native speakers in any language always want to say the sentence as quick as possible because, and the linking and blending occurs in every language. So in English, uh, native speakers are going to try to say this sentence really fast and it's going to be dog is a, dog is a, my dog is a poodle, my dog is a poodle like that. So that's going to be strong linking. Uh, I, we're not going to say my dog is a poodle. No, no, it doesn't work that way. My dog is a poodle. My dog is a poodle. Okay, let's go on to number two. 
This is a common common uh, start to stories for children. Where's the linking here? Han, Khan, Khan Yazi, hello. Anfal, hello. Zakia, hello. Where's Ziad? Where's Z Ziad's not here? N and A, yeah, that's going to be linked, but there's another linking. Uh, Layla, we don't link the E because the E doesn't make a sound. Sapana, yeah, Tika, Sapana. <laughs> Sapana, you got the middle word. Govinder Singh, hello from India. I've been to India three times. I hope to be there a fourth time. All right, so once, so the E doesn't make the sound, the, the C makes the S sound, once upon a, once upon a, once upon a, and the N and, and the A, of course, are going to be linked. Once upon a, once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time, once upon a time. All right, so this is consonant vowel. Let's go on to number three, once upon a time. Aziz is from Morocco. Yeah, Hong from Vietnam. Oh, we're getting a lot of new people today. And oh, we're already going up to two new subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. Wake up and go, wake up and go, wake up and go. Wake up and go. Wake up and go. Wake up and go. So, and that one, yeah. The wake up, wake up and, wake up and, wake up and, wake up and go. Wake up and go. These are the easy one, guys. We're gonna get more difficult. I think it's gonna be more difficult. Wake up and go. So yeah, wake up is very strong linking. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up and, wake up and go. All right, number four. Let's take a look at this one, number four. Stop eating that egg. Stop eating that egg. Stop eating that egg. Tika, yep. UK Android. So right away we can see the stop eating, stop eating, stop eating, stop eating. That egg, that egg, that egg. Stop eating 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 that egg. Number five. <coughs> A cup of apple juice. A cup of apple juice. A cup of apple juice. I would like a cup of apple juice. Stop eating that egg. Stop eating that egg. A cup of apple juice. All right, I see you guys. Cup, 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 cup. Hey, Fanny. Cup of, uh, cup of apple. Cup of apple. Cup of apple juice. A cup of apple juice. A cup of apple juice. Cup of... Uh, it's very hard to say it slow. Cup of apple juice. Cup of apple juice. A cup of apple juice. 
All right, so the the first five were all consonant and vowel. That that those ones are actually easy. We're gonna move on to consonant consonant. So in this sentence, we're there's what are the two con consonants that are kind of linked and blended? Kanyazi. It is complicated, yes, but this is how native speakers uh, speak. Oh, Manny, you're very early today. Usually you're about one hour late. Yeah, Fanny. Yeah, Layla, uh, that's an UK Android. Uh, what I want to focus on here is the stop playing stop playing there's only going to be one p sound when the native speaker is speaking so the two p's become one p stop playing stop playing stop playing stop playing your game stop playing your game playing your game playing we need that in your game stop playing your game all right, let's go on to the next consonant consonant. This one's a little more tricky. Uh, Khan, yeah, we can say plan your game. We can, uh, but that's more of elimination of G. Just taking out G, that's possible. Please move forward. Please move forward. Please move forward. It's it's hard to because I'm not saying it naturally. I'm I'm saying it for you guys. So it's hard to get the natural way a native speaker would say it. Please move forward. Please move forward. So in this case, right here, uh, the native speaker is going to blend these uh, words together. Because when we're saying move, move, already when we're making the V sound, move, where our, our lips are positioned for the F, move forward, move forward. So our lips come and move forward. Sounds like it can be blended there. Move or linked. Move forward. Move forward. Please move forward. That one's a hard one. Let's go on. Three. We tried to do it. We tried to do it. We tried to do it. Najumadeen. Hi, Robin. Hello. Win. Hello. Reyna's here. We tried to do it. How's it going? It's going fine. Yep. Yeah, so for this one. Tried to, tried, tried to becomes tried to, tried to. So as you're making the D, the mouth will quickly switch to a T sound. Tried to, tried to. We tried to do it. We, we, we tried, no, we tried to, tried to, tried to. We tried to do it. Tried to do it? No, tried to. Okay, we're going on to number four. I found that here. I found that here. I 
found that, found that, found that, found that, found that, found that, found, do you hear the D switches to the TH, found that, found that, found, the D is reduced, found that. I found that here. I found that. Found that. I found that here. I found that here. Found that. Found that. Found that. Found that. Found that. I found that here. All right. And number five for consonant. Consonant. Now is the best time. Now is the best time. Now is the best time. Win. W I, yeah, now is, is linked, but we're focusing on consonant and consonant. W I is consonant vowel. So now is, is linked, but that's not consonant, consonant. Which is the consonant, consonant? So for consonant consonant, it's going to be the best time. We're not going to see. We're not going to say best time. The native speaker now is the best time. Best time. We're going to just use the one T for the T T sound. Best time. Best time. Now is the best time. Now is the best time. All right, and the last part we're going to focus on is vowel vowel. This is hard. This is hard. Uh, I, I didn't really know much about vowel vowel. I checked on the internet and I learned something about speaking. Reina, you know about vowel vowel. What's happening? Do you know what's happening there? Between There's something happening between that Y and O. What's happening between the Y and O? O. <coughs> so, when the native speaker is uh, saying this sentence, the, the very and the old, when they say it fast, there's going to be a Y sound. Uh, you're going to hear a Y sound, a slightly reduced Y sound. So my car is very old, very old, very old. I, 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 it's impossible to, to slow it down. My car is very old, but there is a slight Y sound that can be made uh, when the native speaker is saying that. So, very old, very old. My car is very old. Very old. My car is very old. All right. Vowel and vowel number two. Please lie on the bed. Please lie on the bed. The E and the O. But again, there's a, a reduced slight Y sound that can be there. Lie on, lie on, lie on the bed. Please lie on the bed. Please lie on the bed. Third one. Lion. That's not it's not lion. Lie on. With the Y. I like two two apples. I like two apples. I like two apples. Yes. Lie on. Two apples. Oh, O Y A. No. Now 
Now this is very strange because it's actually double W, a slight W sound. Two, because when we're making the two app, two apples, two apples, two apples, we can link it. I like two apples. I like two apples. I like two apples. I like two apples. Very reduced two apples, two apples. I like two apples. Number four, you are nice. You are nice. Two apples. That's the sound, Layla, two apples. But the, the W sound is very reduced, very reduced. You are nice. Thank you, Kanji. You, again, our, our mouth is getting close to that W shape. You are. You are nice. 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 And number five. Boy and girl. We don't add the W. It's just a natural, when the native speakers are speaking fast, there is a slight W sound, or can be, not, not all. When we're speaking very fast, we'll make that W, that W sound can be there. You, you are, you are nice. This one, boy and girl, boy and girl. And that, yeah, this one is actually going back to the Weiss. There's a slight boy and boy and girl, boy and girl, boy and girl, boy and girl, boy and girl. So there, there's a reduced Y sound there, boy and girl. When we're speaking really fast. All right, uh, we're going to move on to practice. Which, where is all the linking here? If I said, turn off your phone, turn off your phone, where's the linking? Turn off your phone. <laughs> my son is missing your beard. Everyone's missing my beard. There, you can vote. <laughs> turn off, turn off, turn off your phone, turn off your phone. Was he sick? Three for on two. One, one, two. I think we're divided in the voting. Was he sick? Okay, let's get back to the lesson. What's happening here when I say, was he sick? Was he sick? Subtitle movie clips. The H is dropped here. Thank you for uh, 
trying to trying to pay attention to the lesson, not my beard. Was he sick? Was he sick? Was he sick? So the linking here, yeah, the uh, the H is dropped right away. H's are not very strong when we're speaking uh, when we're speaking in English very fast. H's are the weakest letter. And certainly, I, I was saying, was he was he sick? So that consonant is connecting right to the vowel. Was he was he sick? Was he was he was he sick? You must talk more. You must talk more. What's what kind of linking blending is happening here? You must talk more. Yeah, Layla, that's it. One T will be dropped. You must talk, must talk, must talk, one T, must talk more, must talk more. You must talk more. You must, must talk. You must talk, no, you must talk more. Yeah, must. So, Aman Khan, you said must, ok, it's the other way. Must talk. You must talk more. Okay, number four, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, Raina and Kevin. T-A-T-A, -A. not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. It's not, it's not dropped, but it is reduced. Not at all, not at all, not at, not at, not at all. It's, I sound really strange trying to say it slow. Not at all. Yeah, subtitled movie clips, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. It's no joke. 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 What's happening here? It's no joke. It's no joke. Yeah, Raina. No joke? No, it's no joke. UK Android, that's correct. You should hear snow. It's snow. It's no joke. It's no joke. It's no joke. It's no joke. So that S that S and N, they're different consonants, but they're gonna be going right together. It's snow. It's snow. So when a word uh, ends with S, uh, it can connect to a lot of words. So it's no, it's no joke. It's no joke. It's no, uh, it can sound like that. It's no joke. It's no joke. It's no, it's no joke. It's no, it's no joke. It's no joke. Number six. Can I have a moment? Can I have a moment? Where's the linking and blending there? Can I have a moment? Can I can I have a moment? Oh, smart user is here. I didn't notice you yet. Can I have a moment? V with the A, yes. E is dropped. E, e never has a sound. <laughs> e 
Can I? Can I? Have a? Can I have a? Can I have a? Can I have a moment? UK Android. There you go. Can I? Can I have a? Can I have a? Can I have a? Can I have a moment? Can I have a moment? Can I have a moment? Now, it's, I didn't put it here, but it's also possible to drop the H. So some native speakers might say, can I have a, no H, can I have a moment? Can I have a moment? It's also possible. Can I have a, can I have a moment? All right, seven. What's happening here? Listen, I'm going to say it. Love them or leave them. 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 H with O. Love him. Love him. Love him. Love him more. <laughs> Chris, I would leave him. Because I love him. So love him. That H is dropped, like some of you said. Love him. Love him more. Love him or leave him. Leave him. Love him or 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 leave him. Love him. Love him more. Leave him. Love him or leave him. Love him or leave him. You should love him. Not leave him. Love him. So we can see, yeah, the H is... When the native speaker is speaking, H's go very fast. They're, they're usually dropped. Oh, this one's difficult. Lots. They all pay at the office. They all pay at the office. They all pay at the office. Raina, you are a good student. <laughs> they all pay at the office. So, so uh, according to the rules, they all, they all, they, there's a Y sound there. They all pay at, pay at, there's a slight Y. They all pay at the office. Again, at the, I don't think the TT, they all pay at, at the, they all pay at the, at the, yeah, probably the TT. At the, at the, at the, they all pay at the office, at the office. They all pay at the office. No, I don't think that T is combined. They all pay at the office. At the, <clears throat> at the end of his lesson. At the end of his lesson. Simu 2A, can we have a PDF for that sentence? Uh, there's no PDF. Yeah, uh, Kevin, I, I think there's two different sounds too. But again, uh, subtitled movie clips uh, depends on, again, these sentences will be pronounced different English-speaking regions around the world. 
at the end of his lesson. All right. At the, at the, at the, that's going to be linked. At the, at the end, the end, at the end, end of his, end of his lesson, at the end of his lesson, at the end of his lesson, at the end of his lesson. Actually, that S and that L could probably be linked too, because the, at the end of his lesson, at the end of his lesson, at S and L, at the end of his lesson, at the end of his lesson, at the end of his lesson, at the end of his lesson. Yeah, probably that S and L can also be linked too. All right, uh, the last example, I said it before. This was in another pronunciation video. And it was the song nursery rhyme that I said before. Listen again. Mare's the oats and doze the oats and little lambs eat ivy. A kid will eat ivy too, wouldn't you? Do you guys remember that? Mare's eat oats and doze eat oats and little lambs eat ivy. A kid will eat ivy too, wouldn't you? Do you remember that? I said that oh, a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think. Mares eat oats and doze eat oats and little lambs eat ivy. A kid will eat ivy too, wouldn't you? It's not a tongue twister. It wasn't a tongue twister. It is a, the example of linking. This was the perfect, perfect song, nursery rhyme, uh, that is a perfect example of linking. Mares eat oats and doze eat oats and little lambs eat ivy. A kid will eat ivy too, wouldn't you? So it's very difficult to understand this, uh, this song, this nursery rhyme, because of the linking. And you guys asked, you were confused last time, so I put a little dictionary here today. A mare is the female horse. The doe is the female deer. Oats, that's, that's the food. And ivy is the plant. Mares eat oats. Mares, many mares eat oats. Does, not does. Does eat oats. And little lambs eat ivy. So let's go back to understand. Mares eat oats, does, not does, does, the female deer, plural, does eat oats, and little lambs eat ivy. A kid will, contraction, a kid'll eat ivy too, wouldn't you? And then we say it fast, fast, mares eat oats and does eat oats, and little lambs eat ivy. A kid'll eat ivy too, wouldn't you? So... Oh, you're right. Mares eat oats and doze eat oats. Mares eat oats and doze eat oats. All right. So, Kevin, yeah, I fixed that in the uh, in the linking. Mares eat oats. So we see the linking here. Mares eat oats. Mares eat oats. Mares eat oats. And do, those, the DD, and those eat oats. And those eat oats. Mares eat oats and those eat oats. Mares eat oats and those eat oats. We're going to use one D sound. Those eat oats. And little and, and little and little and little is going to be blended there. And little lambs. 
little la little lambs, little lambs, and little lambs eat ivy. Lambs eat ivy. Mares eat oats and those eat oats and little lambs eat ivy. A kittle eat ivy too, wouldn't you? A kittle eat, a kittle eat, a kittle eat ivy too. Oh, that's so difficult. Layla, I need to listen to the song many times so I can say it. Oh, it's 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 not the native speaker. The purpose of this song is to show the linking and the blending can make something sound really, really, uh, really, really, really strange. Mares eat oats and dozy dots and little lambs eat. Uh, Mares eat oats and dozy dots and little lambs eat ivy. A kittle eat ivy too, wouldn't you? All right. So we're finished here, and the questions are: Do you understand word linking? And what are some other sentences using word linking? So word linking, every native speaker when they're speaking fast. So this is when you're watching a, an American movie. You might, you might speak English very well, but when you're hearing two native speakers talk to each other and they're just linking and blending everything, going very fast, uh, it's difficult, but... Abdul, yeah, good lesson for exercise pronunciation, me too. Thank you, UK Android. I think black Americans are linking the whole words. Uh, I wouldn't know about that, Ziad. Every language is blending and linking. Every language. Your language has blending, linking of words. Or uh, the letters in the words. Every language. All right. When? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you from? That's more, uh, Wayne, that's more of a reduction of a word. Where, where? Where are you from? That thought, the words are blended together. The whole words, two words are blended together. Where are you from? Oh, well, Ziad, uh, black Americans speak uh, their own their own dialect of English. And black Americans are normal Americans. So uh, I, I think, Ziad, you have to change your view of pronunciation because in America, there's there's so many different kinds of uh, regions that speak English differently. So, like, uh, a Tex, someone from Texas is going to speak with, uh, with a very different accent from New York. And black Americans, uh, yeah, they might have their own uh, accent to, or how the sound pronunciation to how they speak. But all groups are normal Americans. So, hey, I just started watching. What are we talking about? Well, we're just finishing up the lesson. Mr. MTM, kind of luck. How are you doing? How are, how are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Again, those, those sentences are usually just we call it chunk, one chunk. How you doing? How you doing? How ya doing? How you doing? How you doing? Lewis, I don't understand the grammar. You don't understand their grammar or their pronunciation. Their accent. Hannah, <laughs> welcome. I am Robin's brother. Gobbin.
Yeah, subtitled movie clips, uh, you're very clever because you brought up a very important uh, point. Native speakers always link words. It's unusual not to see someone doing that. Uh, that's, that's a good point. But when teachers are teaching English, they tend to slow down their speech like I do. I slow down my speech and I'm not linking as much. I, I'm still linking my my words and sentences, but not as much as a native speaker. So, yeah, this is a problem, subtitled movie clips, because a lot of students, when they're, they're learning English, their teachers are not using real English. They're, they're using teacher English. And then when the student goes out and starts talking to someone who speaks real English or they're watching a movie with real English, it's going to be very different than teacher English. I won't try. Won't try. You can, I won't try. Yeah, I won't try. Try eggs. Kind of luck. Smart users. Chaos here. These rules are a little different than what other pronunciation videos I've gone through. I tried to go through this video from beginning, but still confused. Smart user. This video, uh, don't don't spend hours studying this video. This video, because I'm not an expert on link. First of all, I'm not an expert on linking sounds. All right, I have not studied linking sounds. I'm not an expert. The information I got, like even the vowel vowel, I, I had I spent the day researching this stuff. I'm not an expert, so I'm not the best guy to teach linking sounds uh, but right now i'm the only guy teaching linking sounds uh, there might be better videos on youtube uh rachel's english she's always awesome with linking and stuff like that uh, but certainly this video should help more with awareness and i hope you practice some pronunciation today Karamat. Yes, I shaved. Algenis. Murillo. Hello, Pixie Princess. Princess. Hi, hi, hi. All right, Raina, see you. All right, I'm going to move to just the English Q&A. If you have any questions about English or you need some life advice, now is the time to ask me. Lewis, whatever you do, I love it. There, there is a strong linking. I love it. I love it. Very strong linking. I love it. I love it. Subtitle movie clips. I think you should talk about word stress in the next pronunciation lesson because there's so many people who have problems with it. Uh, subtitle movie clips. I'm not a very good word stress teacher. Uh, I don't know. And next next Saturday we have a pronunciation. Next Saturday I'm going to teach ed endings. Next Saturday I'll teach the ed endings, and that might be the last pronunciation video. Marcos Fonseca, hello. All right, see you, Tika. Thank you, young man. All right, see you, UK Android. I take an exam or I give an exam. Well, all right. Karamat. One is from the student perspective. The other is from the teacher's perspective. So the student takes the exam. The teacher gives the exam. So if you're a student, I take, you should have an article there. I take an exam and I give an exam. The teacher, I give an exam. Marco's from Brazil. I haven't been to Brazil yet. Thank you, Abdul and UK Android. 
Uh, Grace, you are a clinger. Stop doing to be clinger to someone. Uh, well, first of all, you are a clinger as a noun. Don't cling to someone. Stop. Stop clinging to someone. Uh, don't be a clinger. So we would say you are a clinger. Don't be a clinger. Stop clinging to someone. Where did you see that, Grace? Thank you, Algenis Morillo. Lewis, what's a clinger? Grace, give him an answer. Jacques Gesnold, thank you, Jacques. Where are you from, Jacques? Zuzu, I man, hello. It ha it has Ziad. I'm looking at your sentence. It has you got to use it has been. This is actually uh, Esther's grammar on uh, Tuesday. She'll be talking about the present uh, present perfect. It has been. It has been. Omani, how can I ask someone about his hobbies? What are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? Or what's your hobby? If I don't know. Or what do you like to do in your free time? Something like that, if you want to ask about hobbies. What's DR Algenis Morello? Leila, how to pronounce these sentences? I threw a ball through the window. So through and through is the same pronunciation. I threw a ball through the window. Does he have money? The first one, Karamat. Fanny, you forgot a comma? I've, I've went to the embassy. I've gone to the embassy. I've been to the embassy. Which one is correct? Uh, I've gone to the embassy. And I've been to the embassy. The, the second two sentences. I've went, I've went to the embassy. I've been, no, you would say I've, I've gone to the embassy. I've been to the embassy. Those two are correct. I've went to the embassy. Uh, that doesn't sound right. Clinging, holding on to someone very tightly. Yeah. Uh, so if you cling to someone, you stay with that person, uh, but you're too needy you need them too much halifa see you jacques is from haiti yes haiti is french speaking right dr dominican republic welcome we got someone from haiti and we got someone from dominic dominican republic how close are haiti and dominican republic I'm going to check the map because I hope to go there one day. Both places. Haiti. Haiti and Dominican Republic. Same island. Is Haiti and Dominican Republic, are you guys friends?
Sorry, I was just checking the map. When I will teach pronunciation lesson next Saturday. Next Saturday I have a pronunciation lesson. It's an ED lesson, but that might be my last pronunciation lesson on Saturday. Lewis, though, tug, thug, thought. How can you tell the difference when you hear those? Though, though. Though, tongue, though, tug, tug. My tongue is tug, thug, thought. Repeat after me, Lewis. Though, look at my mouth movement. Though, though, tug, thug, thought. Though. Uh, Fanny, I don't understand to use verb three. Uh, oh, yeah. So what's what's happening? Yeah, next Tuesday is es Esther's teaching present continuous. And then f the, the week after that, she's teaching present uh, perfect. Verb three. So not this Tuesday, Fanny, but the, the next, next Tuesday, uh, watch that video with Esther. She's going to go into the grammar of that. And Ziad, I'm not going to teach tenses here because those are too complicated. There's no quick answer, but I'll try to give a quick answer. <laughs> Yeah, that's one way. There's many ways to use perfect tense. There's many ways. That's what confuses students. There's this way, there's that way. You just try making a sentence. Karamat, you spelled it wrong, you spelled it wrongly. Now, from my knowledge, karamat, wrong and wrongly are both adverbs. So, wrong, I'm pretty sure wrong is an adverb too. And wrongly is an adverb, of course. You spelled it wrong is okay. So wrong works with some verbs and wrongly works with other verbs. Uh, let's see if I can get an example. All right, so the rule there is after a verb, we often use wrong, and we use wrongly before the verb. So uh, we will use spelt it wrong. Uh, and then we have some wrongly, he was wrongly convicted. We have certain ex uh, verbs that we use wrongly. So that's probably why it's confusing. I, I, I made it more confusing there, I think. Here, let me fix that. Oh, what's Copy, paste, paste, like that. Verb 
with the adverb wrong, wrongly verb, the adverb wrongly. Hope that answers you. Take me with you. Ellie, Karina. Hi, Robin. I'm a new subscriber. Thank you. I'd like to ask you about honor. Which one is correct? Honor or honor? You you have two, two words there. The same word. Ellie, is this a trick question? Honor or honor? You got the same words. Are you talking about spelling, maybe? Maybe you, you got the spelling mistake, honor and honor. Uh, that's the same word, just uh, d this is British spelling, Can British and Canadian spelling, that's American spelling. I'm not sure what your question is. Is there any difference between sad and upset? Uh, yes. Sad, I'm sad. It's raining outside I'm sad but upset means you're more really sad it could also mean really angry so it could be really really emotional in a negative way but sad is just a simple feeling Layla I'm going by bike I go to work by bicycle. Is there a difference between bike and bicycle? No, there is no difference between bike and bicycle. Bike is short form of bicycle. Ziad, why might be last pronunciation next Saturday? Uh, <laughs> there, there's not enough support, Ziad. We'll see. We'll see by next Saturday the condition of the channel. Uh, you know. We'll see by next Saturday. I I, I might, because I might cut my schedule to, right now I'm teaching four days a week. Uh, I might move writing to Saturday and teach three days a week. Fanny, what's the difference just seeing how far I'm behind. It's about seven minutes behind. Sorry, Fanny, you've been waiting seven minutes. What, what's the difference between carry, bring, and brought? Well, they're very, well, the carry and bring are very different. Carry, you carry a purse, just you carry it, which means uh, you're holding it and you're taking it somewhere. So, in a sentence, you should use sentences. And, and you're correct. Brought is just past tense of bring. Bring, brought. So, we don't have to worry about brought. That's just, so it's carry. So, I'm going to make a couple sentences here. You should make the sentences. I carry my books to class. I bring my books to class. All right, so the key is understanding the difference between carry. I can carry. I can just hold something and carry it to, you know, wherever. I carry my jacket. If the sun comes out, I'm wearing a jacket. I take off my jacket. I carry it. Bring is you're taking something from one location to another location. You're kind of moving it. I bring it to uh, the class. So I carry my books to class. I bring my books to class. And I'm sorry my explanation is confusing, but that's all I can give you right now. Omani's gone. If I were you, I would have done it. Or had I, you, no, 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 the first one. Uh, okay, oh, you got a good question. If I were you, I would have done it. That's okay. Had I been you, I would have done it. So had I, had I, had I been you, or had I been in your situation? Uh, 
Where did you see that? That's such a good question. Had I been you, had I been in your situation, I would have done it differently. Diallo's gone. Big wig is an important person. That would be a idiom, a slang. Big wig. He's a big wig. That's a VIP. Fanny, how to pronounce heaven? Haven't. Heaven. Heaven. Haven't. Lele, often you forgot your T and often. Excuse me. I often believe all what the people say to me because I don't think they will lie at lie to me, lie to me. But after that, I discovered they don't mean what they say. So I feel like a kid. Uh, well, first of all, Layla, I'm going to fix up your sentence. So off, off it, you can say often, but the spelling has a T. Often believe. And then all you're going to say everything. I often believe everything that people say to me because I don't think they will lie to me. And then I'm going to put a period because your sentence is too long. But after that, comma, I discover... After that, I discover they don't mean what they say. So I feel like a kid. What do you recommend me? Well, Layla, hmm. So you are gullible. This is a good vocabulary for everyone and naive there's two words we should learn students gullible and naive so what is gullible just make sure i got the right spelling so gullible person means they they're easy to believe anyone they're easy to believe anyone. So if you believe everything I say, you're very gull gullible. Uh, naive means they lack experience. So that also could mean they they believe people because they they don't have enough experience meeting bad people. So, uh, Layla, you sound gullible, and I, th I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Who? What kind of people? Well, stop trusting people, Layla, especially people on the internet. <laughs> Why is the way Trump pronounces China funny? Oh, let's see. Uh, China. He pronounces it China. Trump pronounces many words funny. Owner. What do you mean? Lewis, is there is it true there is an underground complex in Canada to avoid the weather outside during winter? Uh, Lewis, if you go to any city in Canada, downtown, uh, usually a, a large portion of downtown is connected. Every building is connected by underground passages or pedestrian bridges that are covered. Uh, so, yeah, if it went like in, in 
Calgary or Edmonton, uh, colder cities, if you're downtown, you can walk around many places downtown and you don't have to go outside. Grace, what are you going to teach tomorrow? I don't know what I'm going to teach tomorrow, Grace. All right, Ellie, honor and honor. It's the same thing. Canadians and British spell it this way. Americans spell it this way. Wednesday's writing, Layla. This, this is next week's schedule. Next Monday, English Q&A, writing, pronunciation, grammar. That is next week's schedule, but that might change for the following week after that. All right, Fanny. Fanny, I am confused with annoying. As I know, as I know, annoying, same meaning with upset. Can be. Upset works... Uh, Uh, upset can work with an I'm very you your action annoys me your action uh, upsets me upset just means your emotions are getting negative uh, so it work upset works with uh, sad or angry and annoying uh, so upset works with almost everything but Annoying is closer to bothering. So a synonym of annoying would be, a true synonym would be bothering. And most of the time, uh, upset is going to mean more angry or sad, not necessarily annoying. Zuzu, Ahmed, what is the difference between Daran and Dare? What is Daran? I don't know what Daran is. Sorry, Zuzu. Louis, is my workplace to be used when talking formally over my job? Is my workplace, is my workplace to be used when talking formally? I don't understand the question. Is it a question? Because you don't have a question mark. Sorry, Louis, you got to write that again. Try to be clear. Okay, sorry, just doing technical stuff. Fanny, I'm lying on my bed. You're lying to me. Why lying can have two meanings? Many, there's hundreds of words with two meanings. Why are you worried about that, Fanny? There's so many words with two meanings. English has words with two, three meanings. Some words have ten meanings or more. Sorry, tech, technical stuff. Grace, how can we distinguish question and subjunctive? Subjunctive is about the mood, isn't it? Uh, I got to check subjunctive. It's not related to question. Okay, uh, look here. Have 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 you have you been in my situation? What are you going to do? Have you been in my situation? What are you going to do? what? What are you trying to ask, Grace? What is going through your mind, Grace? Well, first of all, you got to say have you. There's impossible to oh the had you. Oh, you're responding to uh, Kuramuts. Oh, that's very advanced English. Now I got to teach it. 
uh, had you been in my no, the, you gotta say the whole expression. Had you been had you been in my uh, situation, and this is only for speaking, Grace. We don't write this sentence. And it's not a question. It's never, had you been in my situation, is not a question. Oh, okay. So you, you could say, here, I didn't finish it. Had you been in my situation, what would you have done? Okay. So again, it's not really a writing thing. We would say, had had you been in my situation, comma, I put dot 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 dot. But you could you should put a comma. You know, I'll fix it. I'm fixing my own sentences half the time. It's hard to type because uh, you guys can't see my microphone is right in front of my keyboard. So when I'm typing, I can't see the keys all the time. Had you been in my situation, what would you have done? That's the question. And we only have that expression. Uh, so here, I'll, had you been in my situation, what would you, some, again, it's speaking, so some, na those native speakers would just say, what would you, what would you do? But the, grammatically, what would you have done? Robert, what time is it is by you now? What time do you have now? I have 11.52 p.m. So yeah, and I talked to my recent teacher about you and your live stream. She is awesome at every skill in English, and she has a TEFL, and I think TESOL certificates. I told her to work with you here once a day. What did she say? I would be more than happy if someone wants to teach. If you guys know any, any teachers that would like to work for free, please direct them to my channel because... We don't make much this channel. You guys need to help me more. And let's let's put on the begging line. <laughs> you are my boss, but that would be formal way to say it. you are my boss. Uh, you are my superior. You are my manager. Uh, I think you, yeah, you are my boss sounds informal, but I can't think of a better way. For free, buy free, for free. Lewis, when do you use buy and when throt? Through? You mean through. No T on through. And I would have to see some example sentences because that by and through can be used so many different ways, Lewis. Layla, how to pronounce this? Oven? Oven? I baked the cake in the oven. 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 Ellie. Okay. Layla, so when do you use this? Naive and simple. She's a naive little child. He's a simple man. Okay. <laughs> Na naive little child means lacking experience. Not enough life experience. So children are usually naive. They don't have a lot of life experience. Simple can mean if... If you said he's a simple man, uh, simple sometimes means uh, they're not smart, all right? Their IQ is very low. They're not very smart. So be careful using simple because you want to say it can mean 
that that person is not very smart. We, we, we don't want to say a bad word about that person. We don't want to say he's mentally handicapped or very, he's retarded. We don't want to say those words. So a very polite way to say someone is not very smart, we use the word simple. But in your case, uh, uh, Layla, you're not simple. You sound a little gu gullible and a little bit naive. I, I don't know, Layla, I've never met you, so I'm not sure. Should I say my workplace or my job? Well, I think workplace is more formal, but I don't think it matters that much, workplace or job. Uh, but if you're writing a formal letter, you should use workplace. But I wouldn't worry about that. If you were in a formal situation and you said my job, nobody's going to care. If any, sometimes when I want to ask something, I'm confused what I have to use. Are you? Do you? Well, Fenny, that's part of the learning process. You ask something using are you, do you, have you? And I will say, no, you used it wrong, Fenny. And I will show you how to use it. So, Fenny, don't be scared. Uh, just keep asking. That's how we learn. Grace, I am a simple person. Means you're mentally weak. I am an easy person. Oh, those are very different. I'm an easy person. There is no such expression, I'm an easy person. That expression doesn't exist. We can only say I'm an easygoing person. But that's not the, that's not the same as simple. And easygoing is one word. I made a spelling mistake, but I knew it was wrong. That's why I checked it. Easygoing. Lewis, should I go by bus? Lewis, you are spelling through wrong twice now. Listen to me. Through does not have a T. The word is thought. There's two words, Lewis. Before I get to your question, Lewis, repeat after me. The first one there is through. There's no T. The second one is thought. There's a T. You cannot spell it. You spelt it wrong. So your sentence, should I go by bus or through the tube? Well, This is how we would use it. First of all, you also don't have a question mark. You should have a question mark, Lewis, because your sentence is wrong if it doesn't have a question mark. And this is your answer. You should, in this case, for public transportation, we always use by. Public transportation is going to use by. Not through. See so yeah, again. Okay, I'll talk to her today and give her updates. She will work with you one day a week for free. It might be one or one and a half hour. Why, Ziad? Why would she do that? Why do I do it? <laughs> Grace, you're smart. You are... Uh, simple is what, you know, Forrest Gump, you saw the movie Forrest Gump, or I Am Sam, we would say these guys are simple men. So Grace, are you a simple woman? No, you're not like Forrest Gump or I Am Sam. Louis, sorry. <laughs> Louis, yeah, te teacher is scolding Louis, so Louis, this part of learning Sometimes the teacher has to poke. Hey, hey, hey. Grace, do you think, do you think my English, you don't need that is. Do you think my English is, you got to move that is. Do you think my English is better than the first time we met? That's a good question, Grace. 
Uh, I don't know, but of course I'm going to say 100% yes. I mean, I don't know because I, I, I don't talk to you directly very often. But yeah, it's better. I'm sure it's better. It has to be better. I'm 100% sure your English is better. Whether it's listening or comprehension of your reading, I'm sure it's better. Grace, did you make any voice recording from months ago? Make a voice. Everyone here should make a voice recording every month. So one year later, you can go back to your voice recording and you will know, oh, I am better. Lewis, look through me is like if you were a phantom. Look through me. Well, look through me like if you were a phantom. Is that a question? Are you asking me a question, Lewis? Look through me is like if you were a phantom. Phantoms, uh, phantom is like a ghost that goes through things. I'm not sure what you mean, Lewis. What's your question? Can you rewrite that? Ziad, because she believes in helping people like you and she's decent. Oh, okay. Well, then I would like to meet her, Ziad. Let me know. And uh, doing live streams is not easy. There's a lot of technical work to set up. And then doing the live stream, you know, I got to make sure the camera's working, the mic's working, and I got to be watching the chat. And some bad people come in and I got to kick them out and I got to check Google sometimes. When I want to write something, can I start the sentence with so? Try not to, Leila. Try not to. When you're writing. All right, see you, Ellie. I think I'm going to end too very soon. Guys, I'm going to be here maybe two more minutes. Get in any last questions. So, Lewis, look through me. Well, that's it's from a song. That means it's from a, a, a song is a poem, which means the sentence can have multiple meanings. There's no definite answer to what the sentence means. So look through me. I'm not sure what she's what he or she's talking about. I can check that. I can't find it. It's not in that song. Oh. Look right through me. So the lyric is look right through me. So look right through me. I think, again, it's up to interpretation of this song. When you look through someone, you don't notice them. So if I'm sitting here and the teacher looks through me, he doesn't notice me. I'm, I'm like a ghost. So it's a little bit sad if someone looks through you. They don't notice you. They don't see you. Probably because you're not important. They look through you. I was just want I was just want to bothering you is it I I just no your sentence is not correct Finny I just want to bother you Grace but I don't feel that I have been I have improved I feel I am on my feet Oh Grace you're whine, whining Every student cannot notice their improvement unless they make that voice recording. 
make a voice recording tonight. Send it to me. Six months later, I'll send it back. And you can say, oh yeah, I'm better. The story of your life, people looking through you. Just chill more. Oh my God, your face. Why did you shave your beard? Beard? We just, I only have one beard. I had one beard. I shaved it because I want to. Could you pronounce this sentence fast? He saw Sarah sitting on the sofa. He saw Sarah sitting on the, f he saw Sarah sitting on the sofa. Grace, yes, I'm going to stop whining. Students are whining every day. Uh, I'm not getting better. I don't feel like I'm getting better. You're getting better, Grace. As I said, I'm 100% sure you're getting better. I'm sure. Everyone is getting better. Ziad, thanks. Lewis, when can you know if someone means it when they say you are silly? Well, silly is not usually, uh, let's cut that off. Silly is not usually a negative word. If, if someone calls you silly, you're silly. They're not trying to say anything bad. But sometimes people feel bad when they're called silly. But actually, silly is not an attacking word. That just means you're silly. Uh, that's more of a comment. But not necessarily to attack you. Yeah, thanks, Layla. Frederico, Ribeiro, Pires. Hello, you are very late. Prakar, you're too late. You're too late. You're, you guys are too late to class. You each have to do 20 push ups. Can I say to my girlfriend, if I were a man, Yeah, you can you can say it to your boyfriend too. Men whine. Men, both men and women, can whine. Both men can say it to their friends, girlfriends, husbands, wives. You can say it to anyone. Stop whining. Twenty push-ups for the Frederico. Susanna. Oh, thank you. I'm very handsome today. I wasn't handsome before. Fanny, how about annoy and weird? No, oh, those are very different, very different meanings. Those are not connected. Unless you have a sentence, an example sentence that proves me wrong. Yeah, Ziad. Lewis, how can you know when you're using you big words? What do you mean you big words? Two big words. Two? T and Y? Yeah, two big words. What do you mean two big words? Do you have any... What, do you, what exactly are you talking about, uh, Lewis? Oh, Grace. Well, now, now it's an hour 40, so now we get into the real teaching. So here you go, Grace. Bitch, complain, and whine. These are very similar words. So bitch, if you say to someone, stop bitching. They're complaining too much. Usually with anger. 
they're complaining too much and you can say to someone, stop bitching. Stop complaining. So that's kind of the middle, the middle word. Stop whining. Whining is more the eh. <laughs> but bitching is the angry. Oh, he's a blah, 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 with anger. Stop bitching. Stop complaining. Stop whining. But not before, Susanna. Too formal. Too formal words? I don't think there's a problem with too formal. I need to know examples, Lewis. Oh, can a man say dear to another man? <laughs> Uh, hmm. Can a man say dear to another man? No. In an email, yes. In a letter, yes. But speaking, no. No. And Lewis, I would say for speaking, you cannot say dear. You shouldn't say dear to a woman. You shouldn't say dear. Uh, you can, but I would try to avoid saying to a woman, thanks, dear, something like that. But uh, you, you can, but not to a man. So yeah, I heard word winging. I think it's the same meaning. Ah, uh, no, winging. I, I, I've never heard that word, winging. It's got to be whining. Fanny, can I call my boyfriend sweetheart? Yeah, that's your boyfriend. You can call him anything. So yeah, all the members on your WhatsApp group say that, dear. Yeah, I know. I can't fix everyone. It's okay, but... It's, it's, it's something, it's something that might be gone in the future, right? It's a word that might be disappeared. It's not, it's a word, I don't know, might not be appropriate anymore. Dear, if they're dating each other, two guys, I don't know. Uh, I'm not gay. I don't know what they call each other. So yeah, you're, you're, you're correct, Grace. Two guys might call each other dear. Hi, dear Robin. I'm okay with dear. I'm okay. But, you know, some women might not be okay. I don't know. I can't really speak for women. Ask, ask Esther if you have a chance about dear. And you know, you never want to call a girl sweetheart unless she's your girlfriend or daughter. You don't want to call a friend sweetheart. I, I would never call my students sweetheart. That is wrong, Fanny. You can't you can't call girls sweetheart uh, unless they're your girlfriend or wife. Just Chilmar, sir, can you tell me am I right? Explain why do Annie and Weird have different... Annoy. Just chill more. Go to the dictionary. Give me an example of annoy. Give me an example of weird. Those are very different words. So if you spend two seconds at the dictionary, you can see uh, they're very different words. You have to bring me example sentences and I will help you. See you, Reinhardt. Can I say dear to a woman? Yes. Don't say honey to girls, just Chilmar. Don't say honey to girls. Unless it's your girlfriend or your wife. How do fathers call their sons? Hey, boy. I don't know. Uh, they don't call them dear. I don't know what fathers call their sons, just their names. Uh, Grace, if I say, dear Robin, what's up? Well, first of all, dear Robin, you want to show respect. It's kind of formal. 
and then what's up is very casual it doesn't match it doesn't match because you got the slang what's up with the the respectful dear robin nobody can do that Nobody can do that. All right, guys, I'm falling asleep here. I'll see you tomorrow for the grammar lesson. I'm still deciding what the grammar lesson is. So I'll see everyone tomorrow and have a good night. Bye bye. What did you do for two days at ten thirty? I work, Grace. I gotta prepare Esther's scripts, PPTs. All right, bye guys. See you. I'm seeing seventeen people watching. That number should go down. Get out of the classroom. Go 16 now. Go, 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 go do your day. Go to work. Go to sleep. Go shopping. Go watch TV. You're not leaving. I'm cleaning up the classroom. Go shopping. Oh, you're going to take a lecture? It's too late, Grace. Go to sleep. All right, we're, we're moving down. Thank you, Fanny. See you. Leave the classroom. You go first. No, I'm not leaving until we're down. I did this. I did this last week. Grace, you left early, but I had a, I had a two-hour uh, live stream because people didn't leave. I tried to, I tried to make people bored, but they still didn't leave. Well, Ziad, you're too loyal. Anyway, I'm going to leave. See you. I'm leaving. Bye. Bye, go. Okay, I'm, I'm stopping the stream now. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> no, nobody leaves. Nobody's leaving. All right, really, I'm clicking the stop streaming now. Bye, everyone. Okay, bye.